excuse me. Hi, good afternoon from London, England, from your guy himself, your host, DLG Repping. Or is it good morning or is it good evening, wherever you're watching around the world? I'm back again, as I said, uh, as I said before, I said this morning, I'll be back for this afternoon's um, edition, bringing you more football context. Otherwise, um, I could say in how many languages? Eh, caro, welcome on. Bonjour. Good day. What, mate? Wagwan. So, um... I've just um, picked up um, some interesting, um, well, some interesting but um, worrying um, context. Well, one of them, my worrying one, is um, an Aberdeen footballer, unnamed, has tested positive for um, COVID-19. And um, we have, moving on in other news, or should I say next bit of news, Premier League clubs vote against continuing to allow the five substitutions out of nine so it might so it's likely that it could be likely that um all premier league all 20 premier league clubs have seven substitutes su- seven substitutions and only three of them can come on from the bench <coughs> excuse me and ex Southampton and Tottenham winger Gareth Bell has been left at, um on the bench he, he's been left out completely out of Real Madrid squad to face Manchester City in the Champions League um, second leg tie, which um, ended um, 2-1 Man City. However, allow me to um, start off with the, um, the news that um, an Aberdeen player has tested positive for COVID-19. Where, where is it? It should be here somewhere. Here we go. And as it says in the title, Aberdeen player returns positive test an Aberdeen player has been has tested positive for COVID for coronavirus after the city was locked down due to a cluster of cases yes and we have some cities um, in the Midlands like Leicester they went back to lockdown and um, some other um, towns in the north of England that went back to lockdown because of um, cases of the COVID-19 so it's such a shame on society and the economy around the areas over there. So, reading on. Training was cancelled on Thursday with the player's initial positive test confirmed by a follow-up by a follow-up NHS test. Restrictions were imposed in Aberdeen on Wednesday with the number of new cases in the city having risen to 79 with more than with more expected in the coming days. The news cast out over Aberdeen's premiership game with St. Johnston in Perth on Saturday. So not only um, has an Aberdeen player been tested positive, training was um, cancelled and rightfully so. And um, their game against um, St. Johnston in Perth, that is in serious doubt. Now, um... Aberdeen fans, um, do you believe your game against um, St. Johnson should go ahead? If you've got um, an opinion about that, I want to hear your views, and I want to hear it in my com- I want to hear it put in my comment section. I mean, put it in my comment section below. Yeah, you know where it is, and um, we'll have a discussion. So, moving on to the next news, Premier League clubs have um, voted against continuing. To allow five substitutions in the match, and um, I'm not for it myself personally. I think it's just um, going to encourage the winning team in stoppage time to waste more time and to affect the flow of the game. I'm for the three substitutions, you know, and if that is hard, then if that is hard and tough, then that's your issue for me. I am for the five... No, I'm not for the five substitutions. I'm for the three substitutions, personally. I'd rather it go back to the way it was, and that's starting from next season. Let's hope and pray it resumes that way for me. Seven substitutions, only three can come on. 
But um, we shall see what the Premier League um, decides to do about this. So, reading on, as the title says, Premier League vote against five subs. Premier League clubs have voted against continuing to allow five substitutions in a match for the 2020-21 season. The rule was brought in when the 2019-20 top flight season restarted in June, having been halted for three months because of the coronavirus pandemic. For next season, the league will revert to three permitted substitutions after the vote at a meeting on Thursday. So, just to confirm... There will be only three substitutions out of seven on the bench. So it will be back in place by, well, by next season, yeah. <clears throat> so that's confirmation. The Premier League said clubs have also approved approved the implementation of VAR in line with the full FIFA VAR protocol. Okay. So, um... Hopefully, all I can say about VAR is there is um, vast improvements on it. And the referee should do a lot more, and I mean a lot more work to better the situations based on decisions and controversial decisions. If you can't see it the first time, go to your monitor. That is what it's there for. How many times? So, um, there you are. Three substitutions next season and um, the implementation of VAR in line with the full FIFA, full FIFA um, VAR protocol. Well, we'll see how that works out. So moving on to my last bit of news. And that's Exeter Rampton and Tottenham winger Gareth Bell has been axed from Zinedine Zidane's Real Madrid squad to face Man City. And I can read a little bit here in the newspaper. Just bear with me. Right, here we go. Gareth Bell has been axed from Real Madrid squad for tomorrow night's crunch Champions League tie at Manchester City. The world's ace, 31, was left out of the boss out of boss Zinedine Zidane's 24-man party. Wow, a player like him with visibility, you're leaving him out. I mean, a player with. The ability to score an overhead kick in the Champions League final. Dutty. Naughty. Very, very, very naughty. I remember that goal like yesterday. But yeah. It's all due to the fact that we all know. For us football fans that have followed this um, situation with Gareth Bell. We all know that he is not liked by Zinedine Zidane. For whatever so reason. It could have been his attitude on the... It could have been his attitude within training... Within the camp. I just don't know. I mean. If there's any Real Madrid fans. That would like to have a discussion about Gareth Bell. Not being liked by Zinedine Zidane. Or maybe I've got it wrong. Or maybe I've got it right. Then drop it in the comment section below. And I'll be having a conversation with you guys. But reading on. Sources close to the ex-Spurs man. Confirm he is not injured. And would have been in, would have been fine to play. It is the latest Bernabeu humiliation for Bell, who has made just two appearances since Spanish football returned in June and started a paltry 14 games all season. Wow. It, or it could be tactical reasons why Gareth Bell is not um, included in the squad, but you've got to go out there and attack. And I think Gareth Bell is one of Real Madrid's best attacking outlets. I mean... If you still, if you feel that Gareth Bell is one of the best attacking outlets, Real Madrid fans, you're more than welcome to comment on my section below. Football fans, you're likewise. And it will lead to further speculation that his seven-year stay in Madrid is about to end. Bell has endured an uncomfortable few weeks and was seen pretending to sleep on the bench in the 2-0 win over Alves. Zidane's sedition. Zidane's decision is all the more surprising, given that skipper Sergio Ramos will make and make the journey, even though he is banned. That is a hell of a lot of controversy, controversy in this. You know, a hell of a lot of controversy, controversy. Meaning that Ramos is going 
to travel with the squad, knowing that he's banned. But Gareth Bell is fit to at least make the substitute make uh, at least make the substitutes bench, but ends up not even in the 25, 24 man squad, and he's been told not to travel. Wow. And Madrid, 2-1 down from the first leg. They will need to score at least twice to go through to the quarterfinals. Meanwhile, Rose ex-Chelsea man Eden Hazard is still shaking off effects on an ankle op and is unlikely to start. Wow. So he's recently had an um, ankle operation, Mr. Eden Hazard, ex-Chelsea man. And um, it's sad for him that he will not be able to participate in such a crucial fixture that Real Madrid will have to score two clear goals if they to have any chance of um, advancing. Wow. Well, this that brings me to the end of my um, video. Once again, ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, I would like to say thank you for listening, thank you for tuning in, and um, thank you for putting up with me. So, um, <clears throat> once again... If you've got anything to say on my channel, then drop it in the comment section below. Do smash the thumbs up like button and less of the downward ones. And um, remember to subscribe to my channel. Please, 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 I ask of you kindly and nicely to please subscribe to my channel. To myself, the guy himself, the host, the LG repping it, which is me, from the heart. And um, I'll get back to you. And um, I'd really appreciate it if I can get as many subscribers as possible. That's all I'm asking. And the more subscribers, the more healthier this channel will be. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in again. Peace, love and bless. From the guy himself, myself. Him, yeah, that's DLG repping. That's who I am. If you don't know who I am, now you know. Have a good day and enjoy the good weather. We've got the good weather um, wherever you are. I know I'm in London and I should be out there enjoying the good weather, but um, I'll try and take advantage. S see you for now. Latest.